All right, so we are, well, let me move this into the shot. We are very excited for what just showed up in the mail. Um, this is a part my brother who's a CAD guy designed and we're, we're getting ready to test out our first prototype of it. And I'm super excited. So yeah, Jared, you want to tell us what this does? So this is a part I designed so that we could have three prop blades on the dobby. So uh, this supports these little things get replaced with this. This supports uh, a screw. This supports a screw. These two pegs are just for props, and this one will not have a prop on it. Let me let me show them a little closer up with uh, an actual, just one by itself. Two little nubs for the um, for the thirty degree props, and the screw hole and screw hole just like this traditional one. The front screw hole uh, also holds a prop. Which would all be completely useless if you just have the standard Dobby kit, but I have a bunch of spare propellers. They're the old style noisy ones, but I still have a bunch of spare propellers. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get to installing this thing, or trying to. I'm probably gonna have to, because of the constraints from Shapeways, I'm probably gonna have to um, drill out the screw holes to make them fit properly. Hopefully you don't break them. Because Shapeways, was not willing to uh, make a thin enough wall size for us, but you know. I'm surprised at just how fine it is. I, I'm, I'm actually, having done 3D printing in the past, very surprised at how small a part they'll let us make. So, yeah. We'll, we'll start with the next phase where we, we um, Phase two. Yes, begin phase two. We, we, we are now un, unbolting the, um, what is this thing called? The prop retaining clip, I think? Something like that. Uh, they, I think they just referred to it as a clip. Yeah, online they just say clip, 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 and I'm guessing that's sort of an abbreviation of some technical term that I should probably, probably know, know but don't. Okay. Right, let's first see if it can stick on to the uh, peg. It is in fact held on by two screws. That is all that keeps that thing on there. Hey, it sticks onto the peg. Step one's complete. Yes. <laughs> okay, now if I can get it back off. There we go. All right, where are my spare props? Come here, spare props. And props to you, Jared, for uh, designing <laughs> this. You know, I can't wait to fly it. I gotta squeeze bad puns in there somewhere. Ooh. It wouldn't oh. be me without bad puns. That figure is, I, I grab a prop to test it, and of course I grab an A prop, and I'm doing a B prop. Good job. Here's a B prop. Is it the proper one? Hmm. I don't know. Stop. No, no, but if you keep this up, I'll start making Dr. B's jokes. <laughs> that only applies if you cut holes in the props to make them louder. No, these are the old style ones with the <laughs> pointed edges, so they actually should sound like a hive of bees. <laughs> That's going to be wonderful with the tri-blades. Josh was super salty when he found out that there are two different versions and his came with the, um, <laughs> the square ones. He's going to be even more salty when he sees this. Yep. Oh, do we have uh, enough screws? Uh, yeah, because there's only two screws. Oh, right. I, I didn't... You designed the part! How did For you miss that? For some reason, I thought there was three screws. Derp, 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 derp. This is what happens when it takes two weeks to arrive. I feel like this you is a... Try using compressed air and shooting it out. Yes. This is a job for a pick, but I don't I don't have one handy, so we're gonna have to just resort to more blunt means. I think there's an Isaac Arthur quote about that. If the uh, if brute force isn't working, you're obviously not using enough of it. <laughs> Okay, so that's how you remove this. This is partly threaded part of the way through, apparently. Huh. Which ours isn't threaded at all. Ours is, ours is not threaded, but it, it shouldn't fit either, because it's not... We had to make the inner diameter of the screw holes different. So, this is going to require a little bit of drilling. Fortunately, I've got my Dremel here, but I'm not going to make us listen to loud buzzing noises. I'm going to just... Um, Edit that in post. Fast forward through the part where I do this by hand because I don't want to screw it up by using a proper drill on it. You don't want to screw it up. You know, cleaning up the walls of the uh, part. 
Because it is a 3D printed part, so this is literally made out of something that was liquid when it was put on there. <laughs> That's one thing you always got to keep in mind with 3D printed parts. Hopefully the motors don't turn it back into a liquid. So while I'm fast forwarding through the part where I use a Dremel to kind of sand out the walls of the first part we put on, I uh, thought I'd share what we did to get the other three parts put on. As it turns out, the radius of the screw holes is just small enough that all you need to do is kind of sand off a, a bowl around or a bevel on the top of the screw hole and then use a little bit of pressure and the screws will self-tap into the plastic. And they basically just went right on once I figured that out. Okay, so we've done it on opposite corners, you know, a three blade on each opposing corner so that the force is equally distributed. Let's go do our first test flight. Hey, wow, that's a lot beefier sounding. Uh... Amazing. How's it felt? Really responsive. More than I was expecting. I'm surprised. It's even now. Wow, that's great. It sort of does what I ex was hoping it would do, and it's really stable. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit slower, uh, but it's a lot smoother. Smoother. Yeah. You can change it more. Yep, I, I will. I just uh, wanted to try it for. Let's see. It's already a success. Yeah, I would say so. Oh, look how smooth I did the rotations now. That's so cool. Try a panorama. Yeah. Well.